Hi friends, it's Julia. I am here with my Counterfeit Kit Challenge Series Day number 7 and Layout number 7. This is the final day of the month for my uh, May series. So, make sure if you haven't seen the others and you're interested, please feel free head back to my uh, May 2022 playlist on my YouTube channel and you can see all the layouts there. I will be having more layouts made with this kit with the same papers and such uh, in the coming months, uh, probably in July. Um, after today, the rest will show up probably in July is what I'm thinking because I am doing the National Scrapbook Day weekend uh, cut apart series that uh, RTS is doing on her Patreon channel. It is paid content. It is a dollar a month for each month. Uh, so $12 a year if you want to head over to Patreon and check her out and check out the content of this series. And you'll have access to all of her content there. So this year's series, last year's series, um, plus whatever's left on her YouTube channel, there's still quite a bit there. But she has a ton of stuff on uh, Patreon as well. Anyway, so today is a single page sketch. Um, and I will be... Uh, using four photographs, maybe three, but I think all four is what I'm going to use. So let me show you what I have pulled. Um, let me get down here to the bottom so that you can see the original papers. Okay. So these are the papers that were with the, um, that I cut to put with my paper. And I went ahead and punched this one with my Oh, I forget what it was called and I don't have it listed on here, but it's a Fisker's Punch and it's just a scallop border. It's nothing fancy. Um, and so that's what I did. I cut along there already in preparation for that. Uh, this is a background paper that I added in. It is a We Are Memory Keepers called Grandma's Kitchen and it is a lined paper. Looking at that, I might use that instead. It has the feels to go either way. I actually pulled it from my cream color bin to go with this side, but I think I like this side even better. And I also pulled out this sheet of, I want to say it's either Pacifica or Peacock from my uh, cardstock, and it's a close to my heart card. Uh, cardstock base so we'll see either way I think will work uh, all the colors are going to work together with the photos this was also a piece of the original uh, paper pack it is dark black blue if you will so there's what I have I added in a couple of single border strips I added in two rolls of washi tape because I didn't know which ones that I would use I have my four photos here I have yet to cut them down but that's coming uh, I have pulled in this acetate piece. I'm going to try and use that this go around. I pulled in some of the butterfly tickets. You know, I've been pulling from the flower tickets, but I haven't pulled any of the butterfly tickets from the ones that I added in. So I've got those. I pulled in a ton of little bits and pieces. I pulled in that um, reel from, this is a real life story. It's something that I previously stamped and cut out. That's something that I created with uh, inks. It's kind of green with... Um, I don't know, a gold tone to it, a shift to it, if you will. And then that is the back of a paper bag. That's what I did those on. Those are things that I cut out with scraps. All of those I cut out with scraps. There's a pocket page card, a little bicycle that I stamped and cut out, and another one of those paper bag embellishments with um, the green and the gold look to them. More things that I have, that is something that I had previously stamped, colored, and fussy cut, and then I had, um, I have it up on foam adhesive because I was going to use it and then didn't. There's a heart that I punched out, a camera that I've punched out. These are some leftover little things from an SEI kit from forever ago, and then a leftover border strip. I have this set of stickers. Of course, this one. I have these stickers and these stickers. And then I pulled in a single sheet from each of these. I have this one. And this is from the Lost and Found uh, from My Mind's Eye. So I have that one. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. Or if I'm going to use this one from Authentique. Um, and it is, oh, 
that would be very pretty with it too with the bird anyway and it is the gray and um yellow collection so either way i'm going to use one of those i just don't know which i guess i should look at the back side of that no i pulled this one to use this side but I really do like that side. So let me leave those there. So here's everything I have to start with. Um, I will uh, create something and then I will be back to show you what I have. Be right back. Okay, friends, I'm done with another layout. I'll show you what I have left over as far as what I did not use. I had pulled in all of these little bits and pieces from my stash. I used some and then I didn't use some. So this is what is left over from that. And it will go right back into my stash. Have no problems with that. Uh, these tickets, I pulled out a wider ticket and then a thinner ticket. I did not use these. Uh, the pocket page card I pulled in, I did not use. This is a uh, piece that was cut for the layout. I didn't use either of these pieces, so they will go back into my scraps. These two border strips I did not use. I did not use my stickers from either of these, this one, this one, or this one. So all of that will go back into my stash. What I did use, I did use the tickets, the wider tickets. Um, I pulled this one out to add a different one. Uh, than these bright orange ones that I had on here for the flowers. I did not use either of the butterflies that were attached to here. And I almost used uh, this butterfly or moth that was attached to this one. I did find out these are stickers in and of themselves, which I did not know. So the backing peels off from here. I thought they were just tickets. So there you go. Uh, those will go back into my stash. That is the background paper that I pulled in. Uh, and that is the one that I had punched out that was cut down for the layout and I only used half of it. I used both sets of enamel dots. I used both washi tapes. I used the gold alphabet, the matte tile alphabet, and then the uh, orange tile alphabet. And all of those will go back into my stash. And I did use both of the pieces of paper that I brought in one from Authentique, the other from my mind's eye. So those scraps will go back in. And here is the layout that I created. This is one uh, that, again, followed her format. I told you I was going to use four photos, but I ended up using just the three. I cut these two down to three by four and then left that one as a four by six. Um, I love how this turned out. I cut that acetate apart too and used a piece over here and a piece over here. You can see, let me pull it up close where you can see everything. Uh, there's the um, paper sack mixed media stuff that I did. It was for a, a challenge a long time ago and I've had bits and pieces of that left in my stash forever. There's my ticket there. There's one of those cut apart little uh, they're not cut apart. The little punched out um, scalloped edge circles. Those are the flowers that I cut apart. Remember I told you I had this as my inspiration sheet and I cut some of the flowers. I fussy cut them and so I used some of them here. The butterflies I used, uh, enamel dots. There's two, three fonts. Um, that one I pieced together and made an R and an I and an E. Yeah, I Frankenstein those quite a bit. And then here is the acetate over top of the circle that I punched out. Again, same here. The acetate over that, I put that little floral piece that I had previously stamped and fussy cut. And down here, there's that scallop piece, but I covered the scallop with this little flower that I had fussy cut. Another butterfly, two butterflies actually, enamel dots, and another... Um, ticket there, another one of those scallop circles, and then there's that corner piece with the paper sack. And then the washi tape is down here under all of this, though you can't really see it. And then the other washi tape is up here. So this one is done. I was going to cut it down uh, and put it on a backer sheet, but really and truly by the time I added the embellishment clusters to either corner, I don't feel the need to cut anything down. I guess I could move this one in a little bit, 
um, and give it some space there to and cut off a little up here and a little down this side but I like it how it is with just the green and that sheet is sturdy enough and if I feel like I need additional support I'll add something to the background but it's a fairly good weight um, cardstock on the back of that so and that's the piece that I originally pulled out and then here is what I created so yeah this one is done this is layout number seven again this layout will be the last one for this week's series and I will have the remainder uh, we're gonna do uh, five more two more double pages and uh, three more single pages those I will post in July that's what my plans are at the moment. So make sure if you're interested to see the rest of them, make sure head over to my playlist called uh, May 2022 or the Counterfeit Kit Challenge playlist and you'll find both of them there because this is using my May 2020 Counterfeit Kit Challenge uh, kit. So anyway, I appreciate you guys being here. I would love it if you would flip me a thumbs up and I will see you guys on the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.